Chapter 4 of Iracema, The Honey Lips, A Legend of Brazil, by José de Alencar. Translated by Isabel Burton. This LibriVox recording is in the public domain. Chapter 4 The pajé shook the maraca rattle and left the cabin, but the stranger remained not alone. Iracema returned with the maidens summoned to serve the guest of Araquim and the warriors who came to obey him. May happiness rock the white warrior's hammock during the night, and may the sun bring light to his eyes and joy to his soul. Thus saying, Iracema's lip trembled, and the tear stood in her eye. Thou leavest me, then? asked Martin. The most beautiful virgins of the great Taba remain with the warrior. The daughter of Araquim was mistaken in bringing them here for the guest of the pajé. Iracema may not wait upon the stranger. It is she who guards the secret of the Jurema and the mystery of dreams. Her hand prepares for the pajé the drink of Tupin. The Christian warrior crossed the wigwam and disappeared in the darkness. The great village lay in the bottom of the valley, which was illuminated by bonfires. Loud rattled the maraca. The savages were dancing and beating time to their slow surging of the savage song. The inspired pajé headed the sacred rejoicing, and taught to the believers the secrets of Tupin. The principal chief of the Tabajara nation, Irapuã, had descended from the highest point of the Ibiapaba Serra to lead the inland tribes against the Pichiguara foe. The warriors of the valley celebrate the arrival of the chief and the coming fight. The Christian youth saw from afar the glare of the feast fire, and walked on, gazing at the deep blue, cloudless sky. The dead star glittered upon the dome of the forest, and guided his firm step towards the fresh banks of the Akaraú. When he crossed the valley, as if about to enter the forest, the figure of Iracema arose before him. The virgin had followed the stranger, like the soft and subtle breeze which passes through the tangled wood without stirring a leaf. Wherefore, she murmured, has the stranger left the wigwam of hospitality without taking with him the gift of return? Who harmed the pale-faced warrior in the land of the Tabajaras? The Christian felt the justice of her complaint and his own ingratitude. Daughter of Araquim, no one hurt thy guest. It was a longing to see his friends which made him leave the prairies of the Tabajaras. He did not take the return gift, but he carries in his heart the memory of Iracema. If the memory of Iracema dwelt in the heart of the stranger, it would not suffer him to depart. The wind blows not away the sand of the desert when the sand has drank deep of the waters of rain and the virgin sighed. The pale-faced warrior should wait till Kaubi returns from hunting. The brother of Iracema has quick ears. He can hear the Boisininga amidst all the noises of the forest. He has the eyes of the Oichibo, which sees best in the dark. Kaubi will guide him to the banks of the river of the herons. How long will it be before the brother of Iracema returns to the wigwam of Arakeng? The rising sun will bring the warrior Kaubi to the plains of the Ipu. Thy guest will wait, daughter of Arakeng. But if the returning sun bring not the brother of Iracema, it will take the pale-faced warrior to the Taba of the Pichiguaras. And Martin returned to the cabin of the Pajé. The white hammock, perfumed by Iracema with Beijoin, gave the guest a calm and sweet sleep. The Christian was lullabied to sleep by the murmurs of the forest and the low, tender song of the Indian maid. End of chapter 4